Hey everybody, we're back with Warhammer 40k. I know this is usually a channel of Fallout and some other mainly first person shooters, but this is a game I put up when I don't really know what else to record. Um, yeah. Doing, I think, DLC gameplay. This game has a lot of DLC, so I never really know what DLC I'm on. I, there, like, this game has like tons and tons of DLC. It's a little crazy how much is in here. Um, it's an action RPG set in the Warhammer 40k universe. Um, I don't know much about Warhammer 40k besides what this and another game I bought on the computer have told me. Um, so I'll probably get everything wrong if you're a Warhammer 40k fan and know. It's kind of like the universe seems like if it was Star like Star Wars, if it was more metal, basically. There is no greater test to one's metal than a fight against overwhelming odds. Hold the perimeter. Face the onslaught wave after wave with everything you have. If you die, Inquisitor, die a good death. Thorn out. At your command. It's a way of defense. Let's see. This way. Yeah, the, there's multiple classes in this game. I think they had a new one not too long ago. I'm playing the uh, sniper lady. Oh, slow time. It's like a special ability you get. Pain is salvation. Oh, you are a heavy guy again. Okay, I'm gonna need a sniper rifle. Target locked. You are guilty. Oh, that's critical. If you like top down games, even if you don't really. Even if you're not really into Warhammer 40k, I do recommend this game. It's pretty fun. Now you pay, scum. Like I said, there's multiple different classes. Where it belongs, butchered and beaten. Prepare for the next wave. Oh, a sentry turret. Put that down. Get those guys there. There's a there's a lot of skills, though you can't see them right now. There is a lot of skills in this game. Um, I'm gonna say if you've ever played the uh, Van Helsing games, like the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, it's by the same company, so it's kind of very similar to that, just in like the Warhammer 40k universe. Like I said, not really familiar with much of Warrior Report today, except the events of this game. Like, I remember the cam the main campaign, it was pretty interesting, it's about like this ghost ship. Now there was like demons and like all these different factions wanted it, and there was like this weird super powered girl on it that could like erase demons, like not just kill them, like erase them. Uh -oh. 
is not that smart. If he saw that guy, he was just shooting at that rock. So... Take it like a man. They're more of a, you know, swarm guys rather than... Weapon type has its own like abilities, like the uh, face buttons and stuff. You know the A B X Y or on PlayStation the those ones. Like the assault rifle has different. Like you have like rapid fire, burst, like this. Still the crit with the assault rifle kind of gun. Come at these moments in the lull of the battle, Inquisitor. Use them well before the enemy returns. Ready to fight! Purify. Oh, I thought that was a minefield. Um, whoops, well, I wasted that. That's a, that's a different ability than I've seen before, so yeah, I wasted that, definitely. Cleansing shots fired. It's like an orbital strike, I didn't even realize that. Loading. Oh, those guys aren't doing anything. Defend here. Wow, they were able to take down that big guy. I'll get eliminated. Oh. Yeah, I rapid fire. I found you guilty of heresy. <laughs> you just want to unload. Critical. That was with the assault rifle too, not even the sniper. There's a lot of different missions, you know, y'all. It's not just wave defense. They, they mix it up a good enough, you know, where I, I can say this game is definitely worth it. However, I feel. Purified. I will say, going through this game, it definitely expects you to know about Warhammer 40k, which I don't, because it will just introduce, like, enemy. It's like, oh, who's that guy? You know, why does he look all crazy? Why does he look like, you know. Onward! Don't leave it. But they don't, really, they don't really explain anything in this game. Like who am I fighting? Not really sure. The Emperor Well Inquisitor. That's the end of that mission. That's pretty quick. Some missions take longer than others.
I know there's an emperor, and that the humans really hate aliens, but not all aliens. Sometimes they'll work with aliens, but other times it's 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 weird. I gotta open the chest. You, get, you used to get these after every mission, but they don't do it anymore. Which kind of sucks. I got another thing. Go on here. There's always this is like your missions board on here. There's a whole bunch of different planets you go to. Go back to the command bridge, because the guy next to this he'll he'll give you like special missions or something. Random assignment. Let's go. Like a green planet. Oh yeah, and you have these like random. It's before some missions, you have these like weird random like diplomacy things. Let's see. Uh, at the moment, we have indirect clues. that one. Hire local gangs. Yeah. Oh, then you sometimes you can select these like different uh, power-ups before each like regular mission. Let's see, guardsman detail, that's usually pretty good if you're going to be fighting a lot of enemies. In terms of murder, tarantula drop. I'm going to go with the... Ah, I don't think I picked it. God dang it. Oops. <laughs> usually I like going with the tarantula drop, because like you'll be fighting that, things like that. Big demon machine thing. I mean, I do recommend this game. I, I think it's a lot better if you're a Warhammer 40k fan already. However, if, you, like, if you're like me and don't know much about the universe at all, um, the gameplay kind of is good enough. Like, story, I had, I had very little idea what was going on. Especially through the DLCs. Like, I had no idea who any of these enemies were. Like, there was, like, evil elf people. They were, like, purple. Um, like, like pain, I don't know. Only corruption lies beyond the veil. There is nothing but suffering and death beneath the stars. Ah! Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of big guys. A lot of, like, power armor soldiers. <laughs> Die, heretic! Graphics look good for a top-down game like this. 
Um, I don't think they look bad. Freeze. Well, not really freeze, more just slow down. Loading. There it is. There's a big one. Aiming. Yeah, there's different types of sniper rifles you can get. Um, some are slower. This one's like an anti-tank kind of rifle, like a real big one. I know there's one that like shoots poison out. It's like a real fast yes, shooting one. I do. Death is a journey. Pain is salvation. Not the best thing to use against the big guys. Definitely want to use the sniper rifle. Sniper rifle switch. I'm gonna stick to the sniper rifle through most of this because they kind of throw in the big power on the troopers constantly. Repent! Oh, there's a thing in there. Uh, let's explore the other way first. I'm pretty sure all the dungeons are randomly generated, so, or procedurally generated, or whatever. Yeah, you, can, you can really improve your DPS just by holding multiple buttons down, because then it'll just cycle through like a lot of the um, your abilities. Unless you get a critical. Okay, I feel with the sniper, like the criticals are the best thing to go for because you know you just get tons more damage. I have a damaging that thing. And I also kinda of built this like she might be a sniper lady, but I also kinda of built her in the stats, just to be like tankier. I found you guilty of heresy. So many little guys. Fudge. They're fast enough just to go through that uh slow time. So many big guys. I haven't played this in a while, so...
Yeah, this sniper rifle, I think it has like an ability where it can randomly oh, stun opponents. That's why they like turn purple. Oh, that's like a boss guy, or a mini boss. Let's see if we can freeze him. Yeah, see how he's, he's like has purple on him? I don't know how well you can tell, but. That's really good to have, just being able to stun in it. Like this, this type of sniper rifle fire is like really slow, as you can tell. In comparison to others. Oh, and that's the uh, main boss. There's a hit. Loading. Oh, yeah. Freeze again. Definitely want to abuse that power when fighting heavy enemies. I'm taking a lot of damage, and he has a lot of ads. That's the thing in this game, is that enemies have a lot of ads. Oh my god, is there- there- holy jeez, there's a lot in here. Get me out. Get me out. I love that B button shot. That's the purple one. It shoots that goes it goes through multiple enemies no matter what. Loading. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in here. Yes, they're bullet sponges, and yes, there's a lot of them. on every kill, so you can keep you alive a bit, but not when there's this many in And those are all power on the heads. You really need to have a Fallout game like this. I don't think Bethesda would ever allow that. I don't think they're gonna let... Save the bulb. Give them more death. I did not know they exploded when they died. There's still more enemies in here. Repent. Oh. Yeah, there's that thing. You can be slowed. This thing has like explosive rounds that you can sometimes shoot. And it's so good versus uh, groups of those small enemies. Oh hey, treasure chest. Thank you. Off with you. Bosses in this room. Oh, and he summons. Oh, he summons those guys. So I have to kill him. Target 
to quiet. Normally I'd have a grenade, but I have these weird like power up things instead. Because it was not giving me a higher level grenade. Wow, we are still not done with this level. Yeah, enemies left. Look at the bar. Twelve. There's twelve enemies left. And on non-campaign missions like this, this is a side mission technically, um, you have uh, only three lives. This one. Do I have to eliminate those turrets? I hope I don't. They're not really enemies, they're just... eh. I'll probably have to eliminate those turrets back there in that room. Target quiet. Be a flamethrower turret. Ah. I didn't realize he was melee. He was gonna lunge at me. Oh, but he's dead now. He's a Johnny. Yes, I did have to eliminate those turrets. God dang it. I didn't think that they were actual enemies. They're just turrets, game. Well. That sucks. Oh well, you can enjoy more of the scenery of this game. Oh, it's just like long hallway into wider hallway into a bigger hallway. I slay in thy name. There we go. Gave them death generously. My compliments. Oh, an almost perfect timing. Almost 30 minutes between those two missions. Pretty sure that's the ghost ship I was talking about. It's called the Martyr. It's in the title, title of the game. Way too many... <laughs> Enemies in that one room. Crazy. Oh, let's open this. What do we get? A sword and neural implant. Yeah, but I was saying you have like you know all these you have tons of like RPG stuff. You know you got purity sails, refractor shield, your armor has stats. Like everything has stats. Inoculator, your weapons, your weapons have like in like sigils that you put into them. You got these things, you got all your talent trees here, you got this morality tree, you know, good or bad. What else you have? Oh, you got these, which are like different stat things. Like, hey, you know. Oh, and then you can... You got... This game has a lot of RPG stuff. If you like games with lots of stats and numbers and action RPG stuff, uh, I recommend it. If you're a Warhammer 40k fan, I recommend it. Not as... I. And if you're... Not really a Warhammer 40k fan at all like me, 
but you like action RPGs, yeah. If you're not really a fan of either, uh, no. Like, if you like Di Diablo, I would say no. I don't know, it, it, it's a weird game. I don't think it's bad. I, it's, I don't know, it's probably, probably, I would probably like it a lot more if I knew about Warhammer 40k, but... I don't know, the universe seems very weird. And maybe hard to get into, because it seems very complex as well.